Nigeria marks her first year without a single case of polio in July 2015, thereby reaching a milestone many thought would never be as a result of insecurity, which is hampering the fight against the crippling disease. The World Health Organization had delisted Nigeria from polio endemic countries, which many Nigerians describe as a welcome development. Thus, FIT, Rotary District 911 says, was achieved through a combined effort of the federal government, Rotarians and other stakeholders who employed several strategies to contain the virus. Look at what is happening in Pakistan. Look at Afghanistan. They are all war-torn areas. The people who are health workers don't have access to the children to immunize them. We're lucky that there is no state government that uh, is opposed to polio immunization. There is no traditional or religious leader in Nigeria that is, oh, I'm talking about the major religious leaders, but there are a few sects, you know, sects uh, in the country that are uh, opposed to polio immunization. But despite that, we still manage to innovate in such a way that behind their backs, we get the children immunized. They however warn that, with Afghanistan and Pakistan still having few cases of the polio virus, Nigeria and indeed the world are still under the threat of being reinfected. They advise that all consent should ensure that children, especially those within the security compromised areas, are immunized. And that is why until we get to a point where both countries are certified polio free, we must ensure that our children receive regular polio immunization in the form of the oral polio vaccine and also the recently introduced injectable polio vaccine. The world organization has another two years to still see what's happening in Nigeria. Where they can see if there is no incidence of polio within the next two years, then our names, not only taken up, but will be declared polio free, like India. The message here is that yes, it is time to celebrate, but cautiously. And care must be taken not to pass the wrong message because as long as polio exists anywhere, children everywhere are at risk. In Lagos, Annie Daniels. NTA News.